Hello everybody, welcome back by cover year. Let's talk mining. Bitcoin mining proof of work. You know, proof of work was here before Bitcoin. Proof of work is what you do every day when you go to work. It's uh, when you finish a job, right? The job speaks for itself. I don't have to worry about how how can I verify that this job it, how can I find a proof that you did the job, right? I just have to look at the job and check it. That's it. Right? So this is proof of work, right? But unfortunately us the peasants we have to go to work and show proof of work every day but did you know that there's a bunch of people who doesn't really need to show any proof of work they just have to print their own money it's so funny I was looking at this guy in uh, Euro and the Euro he like the ECB over there, he was explaining how he create money from his office. He's saying, well, you can create the money, the the bills, and then just go buy treasuries and real stuff with it. And he's serious about it. Nobody's laughing at it. Nobody's like saying, oh, this is real. This is <laughs> this is death. Nobody's saying that. It's just so normal. Okay. So some people have the privilege of not having to show proof of work so this is proof of stick basically how many stick you have that gives you how much power and you can justify that by flooding the mainstream media with a bunch of propagandas and let them believe that they need inflation for a growing economy now proof of work was basically reinforced by the bitcoin uh consensus protocol that requires work to put this money so in order for you to have money to buy goods and services you need to show proof of work either you have to mine it you have to provide value to all your fellow uh, brothers sisters um, on you you have to provide value so now the you know the game has changed with Bitcoin. You can no longer just print money now. You have to show proof of work. All these other little central banks, those cryptos trying to emulate what Bitcoin did in a very scammy way, just by printing their own money and pretend to be uh, good. Which is, which is which are all scams. So now Bitcoin put discipline in money supply. You need to show real value and show real proof of work. And this is why I'm so fascinated about this because I never really pay attention. I, I wouldn't pay attention to Bitcoin if the, there wasn't this proof of work, this honest way of you know providing you know to the society and it's just gonna cause a meaningful shift i mine uh some uh sometime i got a s9 it's not profitable most time at this point because price is down i mean when i say profitable it's not profitable in um in dollar term but it's still okay in Satoshi's term. You know, I value my wealth in Satoshi's. I don't care about the dollar term. It's so funny. Just like a year ago, you used to have to buy 1 million sats for over $500. Now you only have to pay $180. So by the time of recording. So this is a big advantage but nobody really think about it this way 
Now, the reason I wanna, you know, talk mining is because I wanna emphasize about the proof of work. You know, everything is proof of work. Right? I'm very skeptical about somebody who doesn't wanna show proof of work. You know, if you don't wanna show proof of work, then you're a scammer. Then you just wanna steal my wealth. You know, I like you can't just say, oh. It's raining today. I don't feel good. I can't go to work. And then you expect to get, eat. You expect to find all services from others who went to work. It's like how this thing works. You need to work to provide value to society so you can have. You cannot just expect, oh, you're not going to work just because, oh, I feel, oh, I, my body hurts. What, what do you mean your body hurts? Well, your body hurts, well, you, you're not gonna find money for that day, right? So that's, that's the principle here. It's like, you need to provide value. Without providing value, then you don't deserve, uh, you don't deserve real things. Because, think about it. Let's say you're working all, all your life, right? to provide value in society, services, and everything. And a bunch of people are just sitting their ass and they never provide anything. But they still have the same opportunity, the same like uh, amount of stuff available to them. They get money, they get everything. You see, this is the problem here. And those people, they are paid so because they are they, they will elect if if you to keep them you know to keep giving them money so this is fundamentally wrong in the society you know in any functional society should go in a halt at some point I don't know if it's 10 you know 100 years or like 50 years it's gonna come in a in a halt at some point. So my problem here is all the people who doesn't want to share proof of work want to go the easy way. Like they say, oh, proof of stake, oh yeah, efficiency and all this nonsense. It's like if proof of stake was efficient, right? Would you? Why would you? You know, spend so much money in war. You know, why would you spend so much money in the army to preserve? the US dollar, right? It's not efficient, right? All these people dying and all this nonsense, right? It's, there's no efficiency here. But you, you convert that into computers, shot to 56, energy, physics, mathematics, wolves without rulers, right? So this really changes the uh, the 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 problem, right? It's a different game, so you have to shoot before. No, I just you know there was the news that the biggest power company in uh, Japan is going to mine Bitcoin. This is amazing. This is great news. You see, now they are forced to provide value. They are forced to show proof of work. You see, this is what's gonna take Bitcoin to the next level. All those scam bags on social media say, oh, we're gonna get rich, it's gonna go to the new moon, it's gonna go this, it's gonna, oh, it's, it's gonna uh, get next book on it, all those things, all this nonsense. They don't understand. It's like, it doesn't work like that. You need to, Bitcoin has to provide value to society in order for people to find, to, to realize there's value in this thing. They can't. Okay, so now, not only I'm just, um, you know, a good advocate for Bitcoin, but at the same time, you have to realize that we need to provide value. We need to work, each, or each and every one of us. We need to work. The more we work, the more we uh, become more and more productive, more efficient in our action, then the more this network grows. Right? So that's the point here. We need to be more and more efficient. 
all the time so now they are forced to go mine right every time a company start mining bitcoin right the signal is is sent. what is saying to the world is that i am obeying to the bitcoin consensus protocol i am obeying to the rules of the bitcoin protocol and i want to participate in order for me to participate to win satoshis i need to go and prove, provide energy to the system so i can get money from the system i can no longer print my own money i can no longer uh steal from the from the from the people i have to provide value you see that's the principle here and this is how bitcoin changes uh the rules and this is how you fix the money and this is how you fix the world is by giving a different way of doing things you see so this is what makes me happy this is what excites me and this is what we need to uh look for it's not about like oh wh when the elon musk gonna tweet about bitcoin again and when he gonna do this i don't care about elon musk i don't trust the guy um i don't think he's uh, he's worthy enough um so anyway that's just my opinion I don't care about anything else. So even the people who hate him, um, they don't know. They don't know what they are, you know, what they are doing. Um, it's just like I can't trust anybody anymore. Like, you know, like I, I can't trust anybody. You know, I don't need a, um, a ego in my life. I don't care. You know, so that's the reality. It's just like don't trust verify. Again, um, with. All these companies, Exxon and all those companies going to mine Bitcoin. This will shift the uh, rules, right? Ignore the, all this fud about oh, uh, uh, all those politicians trying to ban it and all this nonsense. All those idiots out there, they don't, they don't even understand what it is. They try to ban Bitcoin mining. You see New, New York City ban it. And all this nonsense you see in all those other countries you know, all those nation state attack, they are just nonsense because you can't really ban code. You can't really ban mathematics in the people's head and you can't ban cryptography, right? It's, it's, it's already there. The cat is out of the bag. So anyways, yes, you should be happy. You should be excited. You should uh, celebrate uh, that the price drop the price in in terms of um 